Hey guys, Touch by an Angel Arts and Crafts back with another video to show you. So I just posted a previous video uh, about changing the colors of pictures you pull from Google. So now this one that I'm going to show you guys is how to upload coloring pages and basically color them like a coloring book and turn them into SVGs. So the first step is to go to your internet browser. Um, since I'm here, so a lot of people say like, you know, if you use other people's pictures, like Winnie the Pooh, you're not supposed to sell it as Disney. You can look for public domain photos. So if you're looking for like kids, SVDs that you can color, um, you can go to the Paint World Super Color and all of this stuff is a public domain pictures. Um, a lot of this stuff on here. I don't think this Chopkins is, but if you type in the in the on the internet bar, super coloring public domain photos, they'll pop up. Um, it's possibly that this may not may not or maybe I can't talk y'all. This may now be under public domain. Sometimes if it's been out for like a couple of years, it'll go uh, under public domain. Um, but I doubt it. Um, so, what did I have it under? So go to the website, go to the internet. Pick a picture, which I picked this Winnie the Pooh, right? I copied it, I right clicked, copied the photo and brought it into Inkscape. To keep the picture proportional, so it's not un unproportional, which I'll show you. So it could stretch, you can make it long. So to keep the picture its size, you can hold down the control button and move it to make it smaller, to make it bigger, and it keeps the same proportion. Okay, so let me stretch that back. He looked kind of chunky that way. Okay, so now we take the picture, make sure you click on the picture, go to object, go to trace bitmap, so you're gonna go click on grays, you're gonna uncheck smooth, keep stack scans and keep remove background the same. You don't need to touch anything else. Hit okay. It grays out and then it looks like that, which means it's done already. And you kind of seen the picture flicker. So you click out of it, click back on it, pull, pull this picture to the right. We're going to work with this picture. Just in case you need the picture for reference, even though it's not colored, you could pull it up, put it over here. Take this picture. And you wanna go to ungroup. On it, pull it away. We are going to use that and delete that. And delete that. When you do this, you're looking for the picture with the most solid lines, which we have. The very first picture was already solid. So now we take this picture, we click off of it. Now let's start coloring Winnie the Pooh. So there's two tools we're going to use. The um, Select and Transform Object Tool, just the pointer tool, and the Fill Boundary Areas, which is the paint bucket. So we select the paint bucket. Winnie the Pooh's shirt is usually red, I believe. So we'll color it red. And that's pretty much it. So we are going to, we are going to, um, what is it called? Basically weld our colors together. So you want to hold down Control Shift, select all of the red colors. 
Then you're going to go up to path union. So now you should have all red together. Okay. Unclick it. Get the bucket. Select that golden yellow color and paint his body. Or her body. My daughter just told me that Winnie the Pooh is a girl. Never knew that. I don't know if the bottom of her feet is black. Let's just make the bottom of her feet black. How about that? No, we can keep it. Just for the sake of this video. Okay, so now we want to click the pointer again. Unclick off of it. Do control shift. Select all the golden yellow parts. Now we're going to go up to path union. So you should have, I forgot his nose. Well, actually, no. You should have um, all the golden yellow. I did forget his ear, though. All the golden yellow and all the golden red. So we'll put that back. Let me get the ear. Go back. Put the paint bucket, select the color. Select his ear, okay. The pointer, click off of it. We're gonna add that. And click union. So now the ear should be on there. Yep. Now the ear is on there. And that is pretty much it. So now we want to select this whole picture. We want to group. Look out of it, delete this picture. They want to go to save as. Let's put in WP. Change it to plain SVG as a save as type. Save. Let's go into Cricut. Pick a new one. Replace, upload, upload image, browse. Probably did that kind of quick, but um, pictures for WP. Open. You can add tags if you want to. I normally don't. I just upload it. There it goes, Winnie. Insert. And there is Winnie. And you can ungroup it. And there you go. Just like that. Put him back together. And there you have it. You just created an SG read off of the coloring book page. So you can select any coloring book page and add color to it and turn it into an SVG. So I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, you can find me on Facebook and my craft group, which is Learn Arts and Crafts with Touch by an Angel 36. Um, I also have the YouTube channel as Touch by an Angel. 36. Same name. So thank you all for watching my video and have a great day.